Hey there, Hoosier Motor Club Insurance Team. Bob Coakley here, your humble sales coach, with a short video on some tips for game planning. I thought I'd start out with a great quote by Henry David Thoreau. Never look back unless you're planning to go that way. And we're not going there, folks. We're going forward. And the purpose of game planning is how can we make next week or this week the best week ever? How can we make the next day even better? And how can we make the next hour? And it's by proper planning. We all know that. If we have a plan in place, a better version of us can show up. So I'm going to go through a couple of tips and best practices that you want to keep in mind when you do your game planning. First of all, specific is terrific. When things are very vague, like I want to do more phone calling or I want to talk to more people or I want to do more quotes, it doesn't create a lot of focus. So think about game planning as almost like a to-do list, a, 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 a minute by minute kind of plan on what to do and tell yourself what to do. Be a master of your time. And you do that by being super specific. So as you go through your game plan, think about it. How can I make this more specific? Number two is to own your numbers. I get in uh, all your game plans and I take a look at them. And one of the things where I see people miss an opportunity is not completing their numbers. And own your numbers, folks. Put your numbers in there. This is for you. And when you put them in there, it's going to cause you to think. And when you own your numbers, it's going to change your planning. It's going to change your behaviors, usually for the better. Now, if you're trying to type in that box and your numbers aren't coming up, that means you need to change the font to make sure it's black, not white. Some people have had that problem. So number two, own your numbers. And I love this quote. It really is something that makes me think. But planned activity crowds out unplanned activity. So what does that mean in your life as an insurance agent? It means scheduling time in your calendar. If you can get in the habit of putting prospecting time in your calendar, short blocks of time where you're gonna call maybe your monoline list, maybe you're gonna call past clients, whatever that is to prospect and talk to more people, more members, Put it in your calendar. It's more likely to happen. Now, I check with Tom. The other thing you can do for some extra accountability is set that time in Outlook and invite him to the meeting. Uh, and that way he can follow up prior, give you a quick pep talk because he's good at that, right? He can kind of fire up for that game. So, And it's also going to give you a little bit of extra accountability. You'll be saying, hey, Tom, I'm going to be doing some calls here. Let me show you what I can do, right? So put the time in your calendar. It's more likely to happen. You might also want to let other people know in your office, or maybe you have a workout partner, if you will, someone that you're going to do prospecting with. Hey, let's call for 30 minutes at this time. Next is when you create your action steps, make sure they're actionable, right? So what I mean by that for an, as an example, you might be saying, I'm going to greet more people in the office, which I love that direction. Make it more specific. I'm going to greet three people a day and I'm going to ask them, when was the last time AAA quoted your insurance? So it's more specific, right? Or heck, just start with one day. Today, after lunch, I'm going to greet three people and I'm going to introduce myself and I'm going to say, hey, I'm curious, when was the last time AAA quoted your insurance? And it gets the conversation going, right? Remember, avoid, hey, would you like me to do a free no obligation quote for you today? No, I'm all set, right? Now, here's another example. I'm going to ask more questions. I know I need to ask more questions. You might put your action step as, hey, I'm going to ask on the next five quotes I do, what would make you switch? Now, we know everyone says money, right? That's a common one. Ask the secondary one. How much of a savings would make you switch? So it's not just because what if you save them a dollar and they're going, ah, it's not worth it. Make them think about that a little bit and don't get off the price right away. How much would you want to save to make a switch? Then you can pivot into, hey, what else is important? What other factors of insurance are important? So uh, the other thing that I have on the next slide that I'll show you is a game plan questions job aid. And you can take a look at it here, but I'll send this to you in this email and click on this. And you can look up here all these questions will get you thinking, right? It will think about your game plan. And it's like a little coach to you. Read these questions and think about it. And when you use this combined with writing down on your game plan what to do, then I guarantee a better plan is going to come out. And with a better plan, 
more likely that better outcomes come as well. So I'm going to end it with a quote by Bobby Boucher, and I'd love to hear if anyone knows who Bobby Boucher is, but he says, you can do it. And I know you can. So looking forward to reviewing some of your game plans this Friday on the huddles. And the purpose of that is to help you make it even better because we know when you have a great plan in place, great outcomes can come from that. Until Friday, talk to you then.